Hey there, Pisces. How's it going? It's your friend Dharma Jane here to uh, give you another tarot scope for the week ahead. This is for Pisces and Pisces Cross Watchers. Nice to see ya. Um, so calling in guides and angels and anyone from the highest good for Pisces. And this is supposed to be for about seven days from whenever you watch this. So whenever that is. Okay. What do we have for Pisces for the next seven days, please? All right. So bottom of the deck, I don't know why I was inclined to see this, but I did. It's the ten of, pen, ten of, what is that? Fire, ten of fire in reverse. So that means, you know, that things are getting better. I really want to talk about things getting better. I want to feel like burdens are lifted. I want to be like it's been stressful lately. And here we are getting back to our very, you know, Pisces self. So I feel like this is a very, now granted this could be male-male relationship, but gender doesn't matter. I think what's important to mention here is that we are dealing with um, what's the word I'm looking for? Two alphas? Two alpha characteristics in one relationship? And I feel like there has been, and this is probably an air sign that you're dealing with, but there's been so much thought and so much contemplation about it that I feel like it became a burden for Pisces. And what we have in the week ahead is release. Sweet, sweet release. I'm actually going to title this sweet release. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Um, whoa. Yikes. Holy sidebar. Okay. So we have this. I just want to be like, this happens because it feels like that. Because I think that there is some kind of, it's not a competition, but it's like, it's definitely, I, I see two people not necessarily riding in a car, but like sitting next to each other and they're just trying to have a conversation, except it's always like bullheadedness, like this king versus that king. And I think that there's a moment where they're like, you know what? I'm done with this. And so here we have Nellie's the, uh, the alchemist. This is like my feminine magician. Okay. But this is someone who changes from within. So in the, in the writer, the regular tarot, okay, the magician is masculine and he uses 3D earthly, you know, elements, whatever, to actually create something. This, um, I often see as an air sign because these glowy folks are my air signs. But more importantly, this is somebody who transforms in the ether. It's spiritual. There's some kind of calling that happens like it's like it's almost in an instant it feels like it was delivered even from like it you know like from the divine to where they're like i don't i like myself better or this isn't working for me or you know see and here we have the the hobjab who comes out and it's like bam you know i'm finally like whoa comes out is because it's like before, look at how crazy his eyes are. I mean, he's looking all over the place and he's like, yeah, you know, a lot of, I can see a lot of things with this. So we're just going to do this and we're going to do this battling because, you know, I'm looking at the bigger picture, but then he comes in and he's like, like, look, look ahead, look at what's right in front of you. And it, it's like a whisper in the ear, like, look at what you're dealing with. And they do that, and then it's like, ding, and then this, she like, you know, and I don't know if she's doing it to the air sign or to Pisces, but there's a definite moment that comes in, and it's like, you know, it's a realization about what was truth and what was unrealistic. Who else do we have coming out for Pisces this week, please? Uh, 
Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. It feels like this is what the relationship was like. This is the soul shrinker. And these are, this is cruel and, and malice. And it's just not nice. And it's typically words. And that's what I'm saying. It's like everything is bullheaded. It's this energy is what is ruling this relationship. And I have, you know, and that's what, and okay, so then you have Lace, the moon's daughter, who comes in and she represents, you know, spiritual guidance. She lands, she plops down on top of the head of those that are confused and whispers into the ear. So you have a lot of protection around you, Pisces. I'll say that first and foremost, in that, um, so you've got this happening in this week ahead where there's bickering and arguing and fighting. And then like, it's almost like Pisces might even kind of unconsciously or subconsciously cry out to the universe for help or guidance. And then bam, Nellie's comes in, Lace comes in, the Hobjab comes in and they're like, you know, come out of this, come out of this come out of the, the thinking that this is okay and, and let release these burdens, have, have this sweet release from this person who is doing this with you because this energy, this is the universe. Like this energy is not good for you. It's not good to be this competitive all the time, except unfortunately, because you're dealing with someone that is as, um, powerful. It's like dealing with two halves of the same whole. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's two Kings. You, there's a chance that you will have to really grow stronger, not stronger. And I heard the word overpower, but it's like, basically what I'm getting at is that in order to deliver this end or release, you have to kind of like really, really, really stand up and be stern and powerful and meaningful in what you say, because they will probably try to argue with you about that too, right? It's like a nonstop freaking argument about everything from what, you know, what color socks you like the best to, to, to the president, just whatever. It's always an argument because it's competition. It's two alphas. They're both the king, both kings have the final say. And when you're dealing with another king, both kings have the final say, except this one is intellect and one is emotion and they're not the same. And it's not healthy. I just saw the healing card that might come back out again. Anybody else for Pisces this week, please? Yeah. So I just got this card for Aquarius. Um, but also you have the collective of the Pixies. And, you know, I love to see this card as my firefighter card because they're all dressed the same and they all act silly together, but they all have like the same common purpose, but they're all like besties, but they would all like, they all have the duty and the willingness to do what needs to be done. But what I was getting from this is that this is, uh, this is asking, okay. Pisces to try to rewrite your story with someone that is more like you because you've been fighting intellect versus emotion. And so it's like, if you would look, look inward and see what is, what it is that you, what's your collective, who is in your tribe? This is the soul tribe. Who do you want to be on this next picture? And so that's kind of a jump, you know, from you have this week, like coming to this realization and, and that it needs to happen to, and that might actually be what the thoughts were. This might actually be how this comes about. Like there's been thought about it with the forest words, swords, sw S words. We've been within our own mind thinking about why this isn't working. And the thought comes out that, look, you know, this person isn't like me. It doesn't, we don't vibe the way that I would like to vibe like I do with some of my other people. <clears throat> 
And so we have um, a couple of cards here. We've got the fawn, who is your best friend, right? Very, very best friend. But they are, they, they're magical. And somehow or another, this ball of pure energy, this is like a floating orb that came in from the universe, somehow or another, like kissed Pisces and was like, hey, we have a different union for you with your counterpart. And isn't that what we were talking about just a second ago was that Pisces needs to find somebody that's like them. That's the fawn. That's the, that's the best friend. That's the one who's into the same things. That's the one who laughs at all your jokes. That's the one who gets you, you know? And so somehow or another this week, cause I was, we were talking about, you know, how does this, we're having this argument and this fighting and somehow Pisces like puts it out there that I, I need, this isn't working for me. And so the universe is like, all righty then <laughs> here's the energy of the union of you and your bestie. Right. And so, so th this energy coming in this week for Pisces is what makes the change. It once, once they catch a whiff of this pure electricity from the person that they're meant to be with, they're like, okay, I'm releasing it. Bam. And it's released. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to clarify all these cards and I want to see more about the fawn and how they're going to meet and who they are. And I want to, I, I'm going to pull more cards on each of the, cause there's three people in this. And I just want to get more information on each of these. And I'm also going to um, pull a timing card and when we can probably see this to happen when this new person comes in and also when we can see this, this release to happen. So if you're interested in following forward, the um, link for the extended is in the box below. And if this is where we part ways now, I really appreciate you stopping by and thank you so much. And I will catch you next week. Have a good one.